Archaeologists, with the help of very advanced technology, were able to explore the Sphinx and capture detailed images of the Sphinx's intricate interior and revealed previously unknown information about the Sphinx. This breakthrough in the field of archaeology has revolutionized our understanding of the Sphinx and the advanced engineering skills of the ancient Egyptians. So, let's explain these explorations of the Sphinx. And these mind-boggling explorations of the Sphinx started in 1970. Back then, ground-penetrating radar GPR, has revolutionized archaeology, allowing scientists to peer beneath the surface of the ground without any excavation. In the 1970s, a team of French archaeologists deployed this technology to scan the area around the iconic Sphinx of Giza in Egypt, marking an important moment in the history of archaeology. Firstly, it is crucial to understand the role of GPR in archaeology. Ground-penetrating radar is a non-invasive geophysical method that uses radar pulses to image the subsurface. By emitting electromagnetic radiation into the ground and detecting the reflected signals from the substance structures, GPR allows archaeologists to identify buried artifacts, structures, and other important features. This revolutionary technology has enabled archaeologists to conduct more efficient, less destructive surveys of archaeological sites. In the 1970s, this technology was still relatively new and underexplored in the field of archaeology. The decision by the French team, under the leadership of eminent archaeologist Jean Carousel, to employ GPR in the Sphinx area represented a novel and pioneering approach. Then, in the 1980s, an ambitious group of Japanese archaeologists undertook a landmark project involving Egypt's iconic Sphinx. Harnessing the innovative technique of photogrammetry, they developed a comprehensive three-dimensional model of the Sphinx, adding a remarkable page to the annals of archaeological technology and our understanding of ancient monuments. The historical significance of this initiative cannot be overstated, as it marked the integration of cutting-edge technology with traditional archaeology, changing the landscape of the field forever. Before delving into the Sphinx project, it is crucial to understand the technique employed, photogrammetry. Rooted in the Greek words photos, grammar, and metron, meaning light, drawing, and measurement respectively, Photogrammetry is the science of making measurements from photographs. In essence, it allows for the extraction of three-dimensional data from two-dimensional images, providing a spatial understanding of objects, buildings, and even landscapes. In the context of archaeology, photogrammetry holds immense potential. It enables scientists to explore, document, and study relics and sites without causing any physical damage. As such, when the team of Japanese archaeologists set out to model the Sphinx in the 1980s, they use photogrammetry as their primary tool, seeking to harness its power for the preservation of history. Despite its iconic status, comprehensive documentation of the Sphinx remained a formidable challenge due to its massive size and fragility. The Japanese team, in partnership with the Egyptian authorities, began their project by photographing the Sphinx from various angles using traditional film cameras. They meticulously captured the intricate details of the monument, ensuring that they did not overlook any feature, no matter how minute. After the images were developed, they underwent a process called stereophotogrammetry. Here, pairs of overlapping photos were examined through a stereo viewer, creating an illusion of depth from which measurements could be made. These measurements, accounting for all the angles, curves, and contours of the Sphinx, were then processed using advanced computer systems to form a three-dimensional model. This intricate model provided a detailed record of the Sphinx's condition in the 1980s. It allowed scientists historians, and Egyptologists to study the monument in a manner previously unattainable and served as an invaluable tool for conservation efforts. The project marked a monumental shift in archaeological studies, marrying traditional fieldwork with modern technology. This 3D model of the Sphinx did not merely present a detailed record, it served as a time capsule, preserving the state of the Sphinx in the 1980s for future generations. Beyond the direct application to the Sphinx, the successful use of photogrammetry sparked a revolution in the field of archaeology. In the present context, this methodology has become a staple in the realms of archaeology and historical preservation globally. It plays an integral role in the documentation, examination, and conservation of various distinguished structures across the globe, like the Roman Colosseum and Machu Picchu's ruins. With that, in the 1990s, a team of American archaeologists embarked on a groundbreaking project 
using a technique called laser scanning to map the Sphinx's surface. This revolutionary approach not only offered new insights into its construction, but also pioneered the use of technology in archaeological research. The laser scanning technology, also known as LIDAR, light detection and ranging, was quite innovative in the 1990s. This non-invasive technique works by emitting pulses of light to a surface and then measuring the time it takes for the light to return to its source. This method allows archaeologists to produce high-resolution 3D maps of the surface of an object or landscape with remarkable precision and detail. The Sphinx had endured centuries of environmental stress, leading to surface erosion and degradation. The archaeologists aimed to obtain a comprehensive understanding of the surface detail that remained, particularly those that were not visible to the naked eye. Laser scanning was pivotal for this project, as it allowed the team to document the Sphinx's surface with a level of detail that was unprecedented. The project's main objectives were multifaceted. The archaeologists sought to map the existing erosion patterns on the Sphinx to provide a baseline for future comparison and erosion rate calculations. With that, this project aimed to record the Sphinx's current state comprehensively to aid in restoration efforts and provide detailed information for scholars. This project resulted in a number of key insights about the Sphinx. The high-resolution data obtained from laser scanning enabled the team to observe intricate details of tool marks and construction techniques, providing new evidence for understanding how this magnificent structure might have been built. The scans revealed undulating patterns of erosion that told tales of the Sphinx's interaction with the harsh desert environment over the millennia. Then. In the 2000s, the world witnessed an astonishing breakthrough in archaeological investigations, the application of muon tomography to uncover the secrets hidden within the Sphinx of Giza. Muon tomography, first introduced in the field of geophysics for investigating volcanoes and potential oil deposits, uses cosmic ray muons to create a three-dimensional image of the internal structure of an object. Muons are high-energy subatomic particles that naturally occur when cosmic rays collide with the Earth's atmosphere. Given their penetrating capacity, they can reach and traverse dense materials, like the Stone of the Sphinx, which other forms of energy cannot. An international team of Egyptian archaeologists, physicists, and engineers took this ambitious project in the early 2000s, marking the first time this technique was applied in the field of Egyptology. The team set up muon detectors around and inside the Sphinx, which tracked and recorded the trajectories of muons passing through the structure. By analyzing the absorption patterns of these particles, the scientists could produce a three-dimensional image of the Sphinx's interior. This approach stood out from previous attempts to investigate the Sphinx, as it eliminated the need for destructive excavation or drilling, thereby preserving the integrity of the historical monument. As a non-invasive technique, it also had the added advantage of circumventing potential political and cultural sensitivities related to the manipulation of significant heritage sites. The results from the muon tomography scan were nothing short of extraordinary. For the first time, it provided a clear image of the internal structure of the Sphinx, revealing a complex network of previously undiscovered chambers and tunnels. This opened up a whole new field of inquiry for Egyptologists and historians, with the possibility of gaining a deeper understanding of the Sphinx's purpose, its builders, and the civilization that created it. It's interesting to point out that, in 2015, a new project called Scan Pyramids started with the aim of studying the Egyptian ancient buildings using non-invasive techniques. They used advanced technology like thermal imaging, muon radiography, and a small robot with a high-resolution camera to explore the pyramids, sphinx, and make discoveries. One significant finding was a void above the Grand Gallery in the Great Pyramid of Giza. This empty space about 30 meters long and similar in size to the Grand Gallery, generated excitement among researchers and the public. Its purpose and function remain unknown. They identified this void using a technique called muon radiography, which involves using cosmic particles to create images of the pyramid's interior. Importantly, this method didn't harm the pyramid structure, as it is entirely non-invasive. The project's robot also explored the Queen's Chamber, capturing detailed images that revealed new information about its construction and design. Additionally, they detected temperature anomalies in the pyramids of Khufu and Khafre, suggesting hidden chambers and passages. The use of infrared thermology allowed researchers to create thermal maps without damaging the pyramids. Furthermore, in 2017, 
a collaborative study by a team of French and Egyptian archaeologists took a major leap forward in the understanding of this enigmatic structure by using a technique called microcomputed tomography micro CT scanning to examine the Sphinx's pores. Micro CT scanning, an advanced non-invasive imaging technique, allows researchers to generate a three-dimensional 3D image of an object without damaging it. It uses X-rays to create cross-sectional images or slices of the inside of an object with a resolution of up to 0.5 micrometers, allowing the visualization of the internal structure at microscopic level. This capability is invaluable in archaeology, where preserving the integrity of artifacts and structures is of paramount importance. The Sphinx's paws, each spanning 15 meters in length, are a detailed craftwork, often overshadowed by the prominence of the Sphinx's head. The scanning process involved directing a focused X-ray beam at the paws of the Sphinx. The X-ray's attenuation as it passed through the structure was then recorded, capturing a two-dimensional image. This process was repeated from different angles to generate a series of two-dimensional images. Computer algorithms then compiled and interpreted these images to create a 3D representation of the internal structure of the Sphinx's paws, including the carvings that have been eroded on the surface. Not only did the scans reveal the physical intricacies of the carvings, but they also highlighted remnants of paint within the carvings. This discovery indicates that the Sphinx was likely adorned with vibrant colors in ancient times, enhancing its religious and symbolic significance. Moreover, a significant advancement in archaeological restoration and preservation occurred when Egyptian archaeologists employed a method known as laser ablation to extract a minuscule piece of material from the Sphinx's chin, marking a milestone in the field in 2018. To delve deeper into laser ablation, it's necessary to understand what this technique involves. In its most basic form, laser ablation is the process of removing material from a solid or occasionally liquid surface by irradiating it with a laser beam. The energy of the laser interacts with the surface of the material, causing the removal or evaporation of thin layers. It is essentially a controlled form of wear, but one that is carried out with remarkable precision. This precision makes laser ablation particularly suited to delicate tasks, where the margin for error is tiny, such as in archaeological restoration. Laser ablation has been applied in various contexts within archaeology. One of the primary uses of this technology has been in the field of artifact analysis. Many artifacts, such as pottery, stone tools, and metal objects, have surfaces that can reveal significant information about their history and use. For example, residues left on a stone tool can indicate what the tool was used for or what materials it came into contact with. However, these residues are often embedded in the surface of the artifact and cannot be easily or safely removed with conventional methods. Laser ablation can remove a very thin layer of the surface, thus exposing these residues for analysis without causing significant damage to the artifact itself. Similarly, laser ablation has been used to analyze the composition of artifacts and structures. In the case of the Sphinx, for instance, a small sample was removed from the chin for analysis. This technique allows for highly localized and minimally evasive analysis of a material's composition, enabling archaeologists to learn more about the construction and age of a structure or object. And Elon Musk has expressed his admiration for ancient Egyptian civilization on several occasions. In a 2018 tweet, he said that his first kit set would be ancient Egypt, including the pyramids, Sphinx, and Temple of Horus. He has also said that he believes the Sphinx is much older than the generally accepted date of 2500 BC and that it may have been built by a lost civilization. In a 2019 interview, Musk said that he believes the Sphinx is a product of a very sophisticated civilization and that it may have been built by a civilization that was much more advanced than we are today. He also said that he believes the Sphinx may have been built to communicate with extraterrestrial civilizations. And Elon Musk supports all these explorations of the Sphinx because he believes that these explorations are a very important part of understanding our history. Only time will tell if Musk is right about the Sphinx, but his interest in it is certainly intriguing. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell.